that there are remnants of some plant that existed potentially millions of years ago. And the way that this plant lived revolved around some functional chemistry, right? It had to do this thing like electron transport and it had to do this thing like, uh, uh, you know, accumulate a proton gradient, like, you know, go through acid base chemistry, redox chemistry. And, and some of the molecules that the plant utilized to achieve its own life were um, properly stored in, in, in the ground, so to speak. The functional groups remain active over very long periods of time, but the reason they're very hard to characterize is because they are literally plant re remnants and plant residue. You know, which plants those are depends on where you are in the world and how that residue has formed depends on the conditions of that residue formation. If you have a lower concentration of oxygen that this material is exposed to, then you're gonna have a higher concentration of active sites. Whereas if you have something that maybe 